Super Digital. Enjoy with us. memories, they work in a funny way. They are, after all, disobedient. They disappear without your permission. And then come back without no warning. I vividly remember when we met for the first time. I mean, our paths had crossed in the past, and we had exchanged some awkward glances. But let me tell you, I was struck by Cupid's arrow when I saw her for the very first time. My heart was racing with just the sight of her. Her face was as though the rays of sunlight were shimmering through summer raindrops. To say she was beautiful was an understatement. No, she was gorgeous. Gorgeous beyond my comprehension. After texting and talking over the phone for several months, we were finally meeting that day. My excitement knew no bounds. It was as though I was flying in the sky. She decided to sit down and raise her knees, crossing her arms and rested them on top of her knees. I pushed my hands slightly back and rested my palms on the ground, leaning back just a little so I could catch small glimpses of her face every now and again. Everything was flawless, stunning. We talked for a long time. I was more than thrilled to behold the most beautiful eyes I've ever seen looking at me that day. She did most of the talking. Silences are normally uncomfortable, but this silence that day felt different. See if I had the option would have gladly accepted to spend the rest of my life with her, right at that moment. When 
we decided to head back, I stood up before her and extended my hands to her. She slid her delicate hands into mine. As we locked eyes, I drew her up. I was so nervous and dumb that I let her go. However, when I noticed the cool evening breeze sweeping her hair towards her face and caressing it like a painter's stroke, I slowed down and took them behind her ear. My action was followed by a shy smile from her. We were walking back at a matched pace, but we were taking tiny steps. I did not want to go back any sooner, and perhaps neither did she. With every step we took, we walked closer and closer. Our elbows brushed against each other, and so did our shoulders. She pulled my arm in and filled the gap between my fingers and hers, and the world felt so different. As her pulse synchronized with my heartbeat, I felt a lot of things I knew so little about. I was astonished by what just the slightest of her touch did to me. I was happy, very happy, but at the same time I felt vulnerable, all at the same time. I didn't tell her then, nor in the following days, how I was certain that she was the one, that I wanted to spend the rest of my life with her, and only her. But, you know what they say about uncharted roads. You never know where it might have led, and now, all I can do is dwell upon what we could have been if we had stayed together.